everyone welcome back so today we'll be talking about the rule based access control so which is the last one of AZ500 so let me show you the architecture of that so this is the architecture so the coming to access one the first task that we'll do is we're gonna create Joseph so he'll be in a group called senior admins so we're gonna create a senior admins group and we'll add Joseph to that and coming to the tasks two we're gonna create Isabel and we'll be adding it to a group called junior admins so in this case in the first task we'll directly add the user using the active directory but in the second case we'll be using the powershell and in the exercise 3 we'll be doing the same task but it will be using the bash so that is the difference uh, between exercise 1 2 and 3 and once this exercise is done we'll be adding a virtual contributor role to this particular group so this particular group will be having an access has a virtual uh, machine contributor and this will be inside a group called AZ500 Lab 1. So saying that let's go ahead and start. So, so coming to the first task is to create the user. So for that we have to go to the show portal. So just to make the simple I have already created it. So for that you have to search Azure Active Directory which is this one so I've already added user just to save the time but I'll show you how I have created that so initially these are different users that I have right now so you can just click new user and there are two different options the first one is create user the second one is invite user so when you use the invite user the, uh, the user you want to invite you just need to give the mail and he'll be invited to use certain services in your uh, uh, Azure and uh, that is what it is so they are like I have explained it in the previous videos if you want to go more detail into that you can please uh, do check that and uh, but now let's go ahead and create a user so these two are mandatory fields as you can see a star here so we have to use the name so according to the docs, I'm adding it. So this is Joseph, I'm getting error since the, already has, uh, the user is already there. And uh, coming to the name, this is the name. So once it is done, there are two different options. You can auto generate the password or you can create the password. So you can use the password that you want. For instance, if I type just a small password, it will be showing error because it doesn't satisfy the parameters so you can just check here there should be lower characters and upper characters and so on so you have to satisfy these uh, conditions once it's done you can just go ahead and create so in this case it's auto generate and uh, I'm not using anything here so if there is any group you can directly assign here but uh, let me show you after this so just need to create this so once it's done let me go back because I've already created so this is the Joseph that you will be seeing once it's done. So once this is done, you can just always go to the users and you can check all the users. If that is not yet updated, you can just refresh it. So now we have completed the task one, which is creating of the user. So this is done. And now we have to create a group called senior admins so we'll do that so now we have to go to the groups so we can go to the default directory and uh, here you can see under manage you can see the groups so click that group and uh, already have some groups but uh, i'll show you how i have created that let's go to the new group and in this new group you have two different options the one is security another one is Microsoft 365 so if you talk about the difference the main difference is uh, the security group can have users devices groups and services principles has it members but uh, whereas Microsoft 365 group can only have the users has it members so to know more about it you can just click here so this is the main difference between this so the security oh sorry so the security groups are used to give the group access to the applications resources and assign the licenses so group members can be users devices service principles and other groups 
So well, as we uh, consider about Microsoft 365, so it is used for collaboration, giving members access to shared uh, mailbox, calendar files, and so on. So this is the main difference between these two. In this case, we'll be selecting security, and uh, according to the architecture, it's uh, security admins, and you can add the description. So it's giving me error because it's already there. So you can write. You can you can add any description like in this case I just gave it has uh, it is a security group so you can give you the description like you can give your own description uh, and uh, you can just create it so now it's done so you need to just go to the groups and uh, just refresh it so that it will uh, be showing here so once that is done. The next task would be like we have to add the members to that so this is the one that we have created so according to the architecture we have to add Joseph into that so let me add Joseph so you can see here members and owners here we have Joseph you just need to add owners and add the select select the appropriate person for this role so in this case it's Joseph so you just need to add here and just add the relevant uh, user to it so now by doing this we have completed the task one now we have to proceed to task two which is creating of uh, junior admins and uh, in which Isabel is the owner of that so let's go ahead and create so I've already created it so this is what I have done and this is bash so let me show you what I have done here so first you have to use the PowerShell so this is the PowerShell you can see so when you click that you'll be having two different options bash or PowerShell so you can change accordingly uh, based on your requirement or uh, your interest so in this case I'll be choosing the PowerShell for the first one according to the docs so once it is done the first step that I have used is I have created an object right so I have created an object for this password and uh, I have given uh, the password to it so this is the password and uh, after that I have uh, used I have connected it to Azure AD so this is what we do and uh, after this you will be using the domain name and you'll be getting your domain name so to know what is in the domain name you can just use your echo and just search for that in this case it's my email id because i am the owner of this azure so this is what domain is and once you get it you can add the user using this information so this is the command for that you can find it in the github so I'll just provide the links below in the description so that you can go ahead and create them. So once this is done, you can use the command called get user. So you can see here, if you type get uh, Azure AD users, so these are the users at the time in the Azure Active Directory. So these are the two users that we have created at that time. So once this is done, the next task is to create the junior admins group. So that is what the architecture says. So if you see, we have created the Isabella and now we have to create junior admins group, right? So now let's go down. So you can create a junior admins group using this command. So once it's done, you can just get the user, uh, uh, the group name here. So these are different groups that we have created and this is the description that I have given. So once that is done, you can add the user to that. So you can get the information about these group members. So this is how you can get it. So once it is done, we'll go to the next task which is creating the service desk so the task 2 is done now coming to the task 3 we have to create a person called William and we have to add it to the service desk 
let's go ahead and do that so in this case we are using the CLI which is a bash so here it's PowerShell now the second task is using the bash I feel more comfortable using the PowerShell so I'm just going to the docs so this is the first command that I have used to get the domain name so after this we're going to create the William and uh, add the password to that so this is what the command is so this is the password of it and uh, the name and the domain name that we have got from the previous uh, command so once it's done we'll be going we'll be getting like a json file and uh, once that is done we can list uh, the count names that are there in the Azure Active Directory. So these are different users and the relevant information related to that. So once we get that, now we'll be going to the task two. In this case, the task two is to create the service desk. So this is the command uh, to create the service desk and uh, you can check table like these are different uh, groups that we have the senior admins the junior admins and now we have the service disk as well so once it is done the next task is to get the object id properties which is done by this particular command here and after this we will be adding to the service desk is this one and you can get the information about uh, the group members related to the service desk so you can see you have you got the name here so this is the person who is under the service desk so according to the architecture he's he should be the one so we have completed the CLI as well now we have to add a virtual machine contributor to this service desk so we have to add this particular role to this uh, service desk. So for that, let's go to the resource group. So initially we have to create a resource group because uh, it is connected to a resource group called AZ500. So let's go back. I'll do it here. So so here you have to go to the resource group so just click resource so these are the resource groups and select the appropriate uh, subscription to see what all resource group that you have so in this case these are the different resource group i have right now so i already created is it 500 uh, let me show you how i have created that so if you click the create button so you have to select the certain uh, subscription that is active so once that is done you have to give the name in this case it would be is 500 lab 01 i'll be getting error because it's already there so i'm just keeping one so it's east us you can add the tags if you want but in this case i'm not adding any tags so you just need to review and create it so you just need to click create and the validation has been passed so once it is done the next thing is we have to add uh, service disk virtual machine contributor permissions to that so let's go back and uh, this is the Azure 500 lab one click that and you can see a lot of options and in this case we have to click, select the access control I am so identity access management so just click that and so let me show you how to add the role assignment so you have to add and add the role assignment here and you have to select appropriate uh, role in this case it's a virtual machine contributor so let me click virtual machine contributor so this is the one that we have to use so just view it so these are different so we have around 322 permissions for this role so you can read them if you have time though so once it's done you just need to click select the role so now we have selected now we have to go to the next uh, tab which is the members so we have to use uh, users groups or service principle 
and uh, you have to select the members in this case we'll be getting the users as well as the groups that we have created so according to this we have to assign service desk has a uh, uh, to this uh, virtual machine contributor so we have to select service desk so which is this one and you have to select it and you have to just go and review and create it so it will be done for you so let's go ahead and review and create it will be done so you can see this is what you will be seeing once uh, you have done with creating that and uh, after that you can just check the axis of the users that you want so here you can see you just need to search by name for instance if i type so we got the user here you can just click the user and uh, you can see the user has this particular role the virtual machine contributor because he's the part of that group that we have created i believe the group name is service desk so since he's a part of service desk he'll be having that role so you can also check other users and uh, get the information related to that if i type joseph right now he don't have any because so we have not yet assigned to him so you can check accordingly if you want uh, to, uh, to see the roles of different users so this is what how you can do it and uh, once it is done make sure that you delete the resource group that you have created for that you have to open your partial and you have to use this command so using this command you can just delete the resource group here and the service is running under it so this is what uh, the lab is all about root the rule base access control i hope you guys have understood the concept of rule based access control how we can assign the rules and how we can assign uh, uh, different roles to the groups as well so if you have understood the video please click the like button below and if you're not a subscribe to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and thank you guys